In this video, we take an in-depth look at some of the ways to manage stock levels within the web portal. This video will focus on stock adjustments, stock transfers, as well as the available reports that assist in managing stock. For more information on how to manage products and departments, please check our other videos where we cover this in detail. First, we will look at stock adjustments. You would typically adjust your stock levels after completing a stock take or receiving an order. You can adjust stock levels in two ways in the portal, either individually or en masse using an import file. You can also update stock quantities individually on the register client, which is covered in another video. To update the stock quantities of an individual product, you will first need to load the product screen by clicking stock from the top bar and clicking products from the sub menu. After locating the product you wish to update, either by scrolling the table or searching for the product, click the view stock list icon. This will load the stock screen for the selected product and the table will list the stock values for each store. To edit the stock levels, click the edit pen icon for the applicable store and the adjust stock quantity screen will be displayed. From here, you can enter a new stock value and select a reason. When entering the stock value, you can either enter a new value, for example 52, you can also enter an incremental decrement by entering a plus or minus followed by the amount. For example, to increase the quantity by 8, you would enter plus 8, and to decrease the quantity by 3, you would enter minus 3. After entering the new value and reason, click the adjust button to update the stock and return to the product stock levels. When you have finished updating the stock across the stores, click the close button to return to the products list. You can also update multiple stock levels using the import tool. This is especially useful when receiving large orders. First, you will want to export your existing stock levels from the web portal. To do this, click the Export Records button and click Export Stock Records from the submenu. The web portal will prepare your file. Click the Download XLS button and open the file once downloaded and click Yes on the info prompt. You will see an Excel spreadsheet listing each product's name and SKU, followed by a column for the stock value in each store. You can only make changes to the stock values and import record column. Do not adjust the product name or SKU details as these will not import. When entering the updated stock values, like the web portal, you can either enter a new value, for example 25, or you can also enter an incremental decrement by entering a plus or minus followed by the amount. For example, to increase the quantity by 5, you would enter plus 5, and to decrease the quantity by 7, you would enter minus 7. After setting the import record column to yes, save the file ensuring it is set to an XLS document. Moving back to the web portal, to import our product stock import file we just created, click the import records button and click import stock records from the submenu. Then, click the white button to launch the open window. Navigate to the location on your machine where your file is. Select the appropriate file and click open. The web portal will first check the contents of the file to ensure the data is valid. When ready, tap the import products button to start the import. After the import is completed, tap the close button. We will now see all our products listed in the table below, but the stock quantities will be updated. Moving on to stock transfers, from here you can create and manage stock transfers between stores. To access stock transfers, you must first click stock from the top bar and click stock transfers from the sub menu. You will then see a set of filters followed by a list of transfers in the last 30 days within the table. The filters allow you to drill down to specific transfers in the table. You can apply filters to a specific date range, filter the store of origin and destination, as well as filter by status. To apply the filter, click the appropriate drop down and select the desired filters. After applying your filters, click the Reload button to refresh the table results. The table will display a summary of stock transfers and will detail the ID, number of products, origin, destination, when it was created and last updated, and finally the status. You can edit a stock transfer by clicking the pen icon and view the products within a transfer by clicking the View Products List icon. To start a new transfer, click the New Stock Transfer button and complete the stock transfer form. The transfer ID will auto-generate, but you are free to change this. Then, select the store you are transferring the stock from and to. You also have the option to add a note to the transfer at this point. After entering your information, click the Next button to continue. Now start adding products to the transfer. To do this, search for the appropriate product in the search area. 
The results will be listed in the drop down menu. Select the desired product and the available stock will be displayed. Now enter the quantity you wish to transfer. You can also add an optional note for the product and when ready click the add button. To add more products to the transfer simply repeat the process. Once you have finished adding products click the done button to return to the stock transfers screen. You must update stock transfers through the entire process. To do this, click the edit pen icon. The statuses available to begin with are open, in transit, lost and cancelled. In the majority of cases, you will update the status to in transit once they are out for delivery. After updating the status, click save. Once a transfer is in transit, the available statuses will change. We can now update the status to either lost or received. When selecting received, click the next button. The stock transfer completion form will automatically assume all items have been received by default. To change the quantities received, click the number and change the value. After updating the number of products being rejected or lost, press enter on your keyboard and click the complete button. You can also start an individual stock transfer of a single product from the product screen. The arrows icon on the product screen allows you to start a stock transfer. Clicking this will open the stock transfer window, where you must enter where the stock is being transferred from and to. It will automatically display the quantity available to transfer. You can then enter the stock quantity you wish to transfer along with any notes. Any stock transfers created here will be displayed on the stock transfer screen and can be updated to include additional products. There are a number of reports available within the web portal to assist in managing stock. The low level stock report which details all products that have a stock quantity equal to or less than the reorder limit that has been entered. The stock movement report details all stock movements and adjustments such as stock transfers and stock taking adjustments. And finally the stock report which details the stock levels for each store, the stock value and potential sales value for each product. These are all available in the Stock Reports group which can be accessed by clicking Reports in the top bar and clicking Stock in the sub-menu. Further information on managing stock levels can also be found in your user manual and if you still have any questions, please get in touch with your solution provider who will be able to offer further assistance.